Um, I have a question, especially about bringing in um, JT. So was it met um, unanimously with um, positivity amongst the members? Or was it because with um, Rolls Royce, I watched their unsung from like eight to 10 years ago. And when um, Gwen Dickey joined the group, uh, there was some animosity between her and the other band members, the original band members, because she was sort of stealing the spotlight. Was there any like um, tension um, as far as JT and, and the members, the band members in Cool in the Gang? No, because this uh, was the first time we uh, decided to get a lead singer. Right. And we, didn't, we didn't audition uh, no one except for JT because he happened to be uh, working with a band and the studio that we were working out of called the House of Music uh, back in uh, West Orange, New Jersey. And Yamir Diodala was recording there. And we said, okay, let's, let's give him a shot. So my brother, you know, he said, okay. He started playing some chord changes and, and JT sang, sang a little bit to that. Then he played some jazz progressions and JT fell into that and said, well, you got the job. Okay. <laughs> Not because we hadn't had no lead singer. So it wasn't mm -hmm. a problem at that time. And then, you know, we went on to have, you know, the, the success that we had after that. And do you think it speaks to like your versatility as a band, how you started out sort of like jazz and then went into funk and then disco and then once um, JT joined the group, kind of went, uh, had more ballads and went mainstream pop. Um, well, was that intentional or was the label forcing it on you? No, it was just all, it was cool in the game, man. These things just started happening, you know, uh, because we were experimenting to some degree with a lead singer. We never had a lead singer before. Mm -hmm. Musically, we were playing all different types of music, uh, you know, from jazz, uh, funk, you know, to uh, uh, the type of stuff that we were doing in the 70s. So um, he, he fell right in, you know, and we started writing more songs, like, you know, uh, Joanna or Too Hot and some of the other songs that we have. Yeah. 